Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, firstly, um, I'm just gonna say excuse the voice. I'm a little, a little bit croaky. Um, I'm still recovering from a uh, viral infection that kind of had some other complications to it. It's always fun. Um, so yeah, I'm on medication at the moment. I've been sick for a couple of weeks now and I'm on steroids again, unfortunately. But yeah, the show must go on. I really wanted to sit down and film and get back into the rhythm of things. But before I dive into today's video, if you are new to my channel and you love fashion, you love luxury, you love handbags, you love clothing, you love tips and tricks when it comes to you know shopping for fashion and luxury um, and you aren't subscribed to my channel then I think that you should hit that subscribe button back down below um, hit the bell so you'll be notified when I upload new videos I tend to upload every weekend and then I might occasionally do a midweek upload as well so today's video is going to be um, a bit of a high low luxury haul so I do have Chanel most of the reveals uh, well all the reveals um, are going to be Chanel but then I also have a portion of the video which is going to be more high street focus so I'm definitely into high low fashion just like I'm into high low makeup as well so the first portion of this video is in fact going to be sponsored by online makeup academy as you guys know with some of the hauls that I've done on this channel I do makeup unboxings and I actually get um, a lot of a lot of you guys reach out to me and ask me can I do like makeup tutorials and that sort of thing it's really an art form and there are so many layers and steps in the process but online makeup academy has an online course where you can actually do a makeup master course so this is going to cover pretty Pretty much absolutely everything that you're going to need to know when it comes to doing makeup so at the end of the course you will actually receive an OMACA professional accredited certificate and that means that you can actually practice makeup artistry as a profession if that's what you want to do but it's not just for those who want to actually do makeup as a profession I feel personally for me one of the biggest reasons that I love using makeup is for enhancement without sounding uh, like a superficial sort of thing but it gives you that further sense of confidence i think that's a natural thing just like when it comes to you know dressing with fashion when we put ourselves together in a nice outfit we feel more confident this sounds like something that is up your alley whether you want to become a professional makeup artist whether you just want to learn the whole basic principles of when it comes to putting on makeup because it is definitely not easy you can't just slap on foundation and think that it's always going to work you can't just you know put on some eyeshadow and think it blends itself there is so much skill involved so there's a lot of things that this course will actually um, teach you like I said it will cover all the basics that what you're going to need in your kit all the prep work the hygiene sanitation um, especially now since COVID as well so they are actually up to date with COVID-19 practices there's also going to be training all across different skin types so you know skin types with different textures skin types with you know oily skin dry skin combination skin dark skin light skin medium skin all the skin tones in between mature skin younger skin all of that stuff as well as face shapes too because we all do have different types of face shapes you know plus eye shape I find that eye shape is very very important you also learn about color correction we also color theory as well that they're going to teach you so, so the online makeup Academy is actually going to make sure that you master all that you really need to know when it comes to doing a very natural enhanced makeup look but they also will teach you some fun stuff as well so the bridal makeup the smoky eye makeup and that sort of thing so this course is completely and totally online you don't have to go into any college or anything like that to complete this course it is done online in your own time they actually do one-on-one -on -one individual training as well individual mentorship so if you're needing any assistance along the way the online makeup academy will actually help you even after you've completed that course you will still get post graduate mentorship from the instructors you're also going to get a pro card and this pro card is a makeup industry card that you can use for 40 percent off all the partners so that's going to be a huge saving when it comes to um, building your kit actually learn some new things as well along the way and even some other new techniques so I'm going to put a video on the screen of one of the actual techniques that I feel is the pretty much the one that anyone can integrate this technique and that's contouring playing with shadows to enhance your own structure or to even give you definition where you may not have definition I'm going to have an exclusive discount code that you can use to get a discount on this course the code is going to be on the screen here and it's also going to be in the description bar as well including a link to go ahead and um, sign up for the course this course I highly recommend for anyone who is looking to become a professional makeup artist they do also have as well some other courses that they offer but this is the core principal course the master master class program 
But then if you are simply looking to learn how to do makeup and allows you to express yourself, um, then why not? Makeup is an art form, no different than, you know, fashion. Fashion is an art form as well. And, you know, I talk about the both on this channel. So we're going to dive into the rest of this video, which is all now going to be artistic fashion expression related. You know, while we're talking about artistry, right? <laughs> okay, so um, first part is going to be high street so i actually did a little small asos haul i don't typically do um you know reveals on my channel of like asos you know high street or anything like that but this time around i wanted to because um i think that high low dressing is really the way that i personally dress and i know i do a lot of like luxury unboxings but the reality is that i don't walk around in a chanel shirt or a chanel uh, dress on a day-to-day -day basis you know i'm a mom with two kids i'm walking around on a day-to-day -day basis with asos clothing really essentially so this time around i wanted to show you some of the pieces i picked up from asos and the, the items that i like to sort of wear i'm definitely into more of a comfort sort of dressing now loose fit clothing clothing that's kind of airy um so we're going to start off with the first item which is the one i'm wearing don't you love it oh my gosh isn't this amazing and all of this you know high street it's always going to be very affordable so we're not going to be talking about thousands and thousands of dollars this is all going to be budget friendly clothing so this is a green plissé shirt green is definitely a color that is very much in at the moment everyone's loving green and i'm loving it i think that it really suits my skin tone as well i love the pleats in this shirt i feel like it's more complementary to my body shape because i have more of the apple body shape so i don't like anything that's like super clingy <laughs> i feel like it doesn't do me any favors when i'm wearing anything that is super clingy so the pleated fabric really does a great job of disguising you know disguising things and it makes it always comes down to like feeling the best version of yourself. That's always what it comes down to. I believe that you should be wearing clothes that make you feel comfortable and make you feel like yourself. Um, you know, there's always this sort of taboo and this stereotype that when it comes to owning luxury handbags that you can't wear, you know, Nike shoes or you can't wear Vans. You know, even I've seen Minx For All, she's spoken about it before on her Instagram that she gets flack because she wears Vans with a Chanel bag. Like seriously, who cares? Dress in whatever makes you feel comfortable. If you feel comfortable in a full-on Balmain power suit, then go for it. That's what your comfort zone is. But if you feel comfortable in a loose fit, high street clothing, paired with like, you know, Vans, paired with Converse, whatever. Or if you feel comfortable, kind of like me, I feel more comfortable when I'm mixing high-low. I love to wear high street clothing. Sometimes I might wear a bit of luxury ready-to-wear mixed with the high street clothing. And then I enjoy pairing my luxury bags and my designer shoes. That tends to be the way that I dress and it's the way that I feel most comfortable. So everything is going to be linked down below as well. Everything I'm showing, I'll have a link down below so just open up the description bar um this is another loose fit sort of shirt this is um like a beach shirt like or otherwise known as like a crinkle shirt because it's got a crinkly fabric um i particularly love this kind of crinkly fabric because i don't have to iron it i hate ironing <laughs> i really hate ironing so when i got it it was a bit creased so i just gave it a light steam but generally with crinkle shirts or that crinkle kind of fabric you wash it you hang it out to dry when it's dry you put it away in your wardrobe and it's fine. You don't need to iron it because I just don't have time for ironing or steaming clothes. It is such a tedious task. So yeah, very nice, loose fit, lightweight shirt. I do have some green sage pants. So these are like a faux silk. They're not real silk. I think that if you got silk, it would be better. Personally, I'm a big advocate for silk. Um, but these were very cheap. They were like $16 Australian. They were so cheap so cheap um they're actually pajama pants so they've got that piping however this style you can definitely wear just as normal pants i have seen it so many times worn by celebrities where they just wear these kind of pajama pants as pants with like fitted tops and that sort of thing or they'll wear the pajama shirt with like jeans tucked in I don't really do the pajama shirt because of the piping. I feel like it's a little bit too much for me. Um, but I definitely wear silk shirts. You guys know that. But yeah, I thought that these were really cool. So I don't know if I'm just going to wear them as pajama pants. I may not even at all wear them as pajama pants. Continuing on with flowy fabrics. I have, again, plissé pleated fabric, um, but in pants. So these actually, I'm, I'm very short, right? Um, they didn't offer like a petite version, but this particular style... Um, it was um, raw hem, so you could actually cut it to the length that you need. So I ended up just cutting this to the length that I wanted, and I've cut it 
so that I can pretty much wear it with like a slight wedge or a platform, that sort of thing. But I'm thinking about getting another pair and that way I can cut it to be like uh, pretty much a very cropped sort of plissé pant. Uh, but yeah, these are so lightweight. They're so comfortable. I find them very flattering. And this is again, another kind of comfort pant. This is a ribbed sort of fabric. Um, it's a bit more thicker, so it's not as lightweight as the plissé pants or even the sage pajama pants. This is, yeah, definitely on the warmer side so you can wear this in winter as well um, but yeah it's a ribbed sort of finish brown because I love browns and beiges I'm definitely a neutrals lover but this is definitely in that comfort factor so if you like wearing you know lounge sets and coordinating monochrome knitwear in winter then this is going to be really cool for that so I recommend it if you if that's your sort of vibe but yeah those are the high street options that I picked up now I do have on the flip side, more expensive luxury ready to wear from Chanel. So like I said, I love mixing high, low. Um, yeah, so we're go gonna do the clothes first because that makes sense since we're talking about clothes. The first piece that I've got in here is actually from Spring Summer. I think it was from 22P if I'm not mistaken. So coat hanger, let me just be totally honest. And I ended up getting this in Europe. Look, personally, I prefer now to kind of shop in Europe. I think I'm sort of just over the whole, I don't know, this whole, I feel like I'm not really getting like luxury experience anymore because Chanel changed their policy with like remote orders. They're not wanting to do remote orders really anymore unless you spend like a certain amount. And then not only that, the stock in Australia is absolutely horrendous. It is terrible. Like it is, not, it is a problem. We just do not get enough stock. Um, I, the merchandisers are not buying enough stock. I'm pretty sure that they've got the budget to buy more or they don't. I don't know the full details, but I feel like there's something going wrong here. When it comes to like um, luxury, like luxury brands in Australia, our stock is really bad. And it is a deterrent because when the stock's bad, if I'm asking my sales associate, can I get this? No, no, no. And they don't have it. I'm kind of just over the asking. Like you ask for something and they just don't have it. And then you have to kind of keep chasing them to see if they've got it. So I just kind of got over it. I'm just... Like it's not, I'm not even blaming, I don't blame the stores here. Um, like Chanel, it's really only Chanel that I kind of shop at. I mean, I've shopped at like Louis Vuitton and they didn't have stuff too, but I'm not really that into Louis Vuitton, but more Chanel. Um, yeah, I don't blame them because I think that there's a problem with stock anyway. And I think that they just don't have enough staff to meet the demand as well. That's the other problem. But for me, that's not luxury shopping. Like, for me, if I have to keep chasing people and asking them, it just is a bit of a put off. And I would rather just buy it e-commerce you know buy it through my personal shopper buy it in europe you know so this is a singlet that's from uh like i said it's from 22p no 20 yeah 22p now i find that their singlets are usually fairly are you gonna say this word lightly they're not literally reasonable but i mean for chanel ready to wear they're reasonable because <laughs> chanel ready to wear is usually very very expensive however every time i buy a singlet and i would think i would learn my lesson by now is that they always make the straps too long i don't have a big bust and then they make the straps as though i'm supposed to have like double d bust or something like that and i need to have all this room to hang my boobs or something you know so that is what is pretty annoying it's happened to me with all the singlets that i have bought that are this sort of shape so it's the same problem i'm faced with this one it's a size 38 which is technically my size anyway even i'm a 40 sometimes but this is super stretchy so i kind of feel like maybe i should have gotten a 36 because it is just overly stretchy but it's also cropped as well so this is a sort of you know top that i wear with like high-waisted pants or skirt more likely high-waisted skirt sort of thing but i mean very comfortable sort of knit fabric it has a little cc on the front i mean when i buy my chanel ready to wear i like for it to be known that it's chanel i like to see the logo on there that's personally just me when it comes to like luxury ready to wear um but retail price on this in australia i think it was around about like two and a half thousand or low two thousands or something like that which is pretty typical for the price of um their singlets so but yeah if you are looking at this one um if it's still available at all i would say size down maybe two sizes unless you have a big bust and you can really fill it so the other chanel ready to wear pieces i have are actually from vestia collective um and that's because these are actually well one of them's really old season and then the other one is from 
22p as well but this is one of the very requested uh ensembles that they had in 22p now i think with this one i actually do know the exact retail price because i was looking at this on the chanel website in australia this was really hard to get any of the sizes in this especially if you're like a bigger size like me i find that the 40 that they don't get much stock of um, it's mostly the small sizes like the fr 34 36 that sort of thing they tend to cater to a particular demographic i noticed in, in australia when it comes to their stock ordering for ready to wear which is a little bit annoying and again that is exactly why i prefer to just shop you know pre-loved vestia collective you know a lot of the time it's even new anyway like this one was in new condition anyways or i just go with my personal shopper in europe and sometimes it ends up being you know a good deal anyway through her as well through her connection so the retail price on this was 2450 dollars australian and that is pretty much why this was super popular they also had a bralette that was 1400 and then they then they had a skirt as well which was like 2600 or something they had a few different colors as well they had purple yellow um, this one and then they had something else as well even my personal shopper had difficulty being able to source this as well so I ended up just going you know what I'm just going to wait until I see one pop up on Vestier Collective it's my favorite place to shop pre-owned fashion anywhere and lo and behold one did in the size that I was after I had some other ones listed as well some people were selling them as a set with the um oh that's the other thing they had like a, th uh, like a pants like a, a shorts as well that come like that you could buy as well and around about that same price point so if they're still available on Vestier Collective when I upload this video I'll leave them linked down below but unfortunately a lot of the time they were mostly small sizing like I said it seems to be like a thing with Chanel that they just mostly have they mostly produce more of the small sizes rather than the bigger sizes I think in the US it's better from what I have heard in the US you can even get up to a size 50 for Chanel whereas in Australia it is really hard like you have to be a VIP in order to get that size like to especially order it um, and they'll act, the store actually order it for you. But if you're not a VIP, you pretty much can't get it because it's not a size that they actually stock. They just stock the very small sizes here in Australia, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, very cute pink top. Okay, so the last piece of luxury ready to wear that I picked up from Vestia Collective. It is actually pre-loved, but it did come with a tag and it's from 21C Collection. I actually remember this top from 21C and it was in my folder of items that I was thinking of buying from 21C, but I never pulled the trigger because of the price point. It was like, I think it was about $4,700 Australian. And I was kind of like, you know what? You're really just getting like, it's a t-shirt. I know that's got beautiful diamante detailing on it, but I just couldn't bring myself to pay that for something that I kind of feel like it's still very like casual sort of looking-ish. Like I did totally think about spending $4,700 on this top when it, you know, did come out for 21C. You know, it was even something that I remember sending to my sales associate back then when she used to work at Chanel saying, I'm thinking of this top. I really like it. But I never ended up pulling the trigger. You know, I just couldn't bring myself to sort of do it. I really do love bargain hunting when it comes to like Chanel ready to wear. I like to just sort of wait to see if that unicorn pops up on Vestia Collective or it pops up on Japan Rakuten and I can get it for an amazing deal. I, I kind of just prefer that hunt <laughs> because I feel like, you know, if I had spent $4,700 on this at Chanel, you know, when it was brand new from 21C, you know, that's almost back then that was like not far off the price of a mini flap you know because the mini flaps hadn't gone up yet and that was always kind of my mentality so I did end up getting like a bag as well from 21c but just not I don't think I got any other ready to wear I know I got some ready to wear no I got something in the spring summer in that same like just after slightly you know a little bit of softening to the knitwear so if you look at it here you can see that it's got like cc's all over the knitwear um and when you wear the shirt it does pop through much more, all those CCs on the knitwear. Beautiful diamante detailing here. Uh, this is in the size large, which f fits me perfectly. So that worked out really, really well. It's got a tie detailing. So this is a little bit too low for me. I'd have to tighten it up to get the tie a little bit higher up on the shoulders. It's got a little CC at the back as well, which has got the diamante on it. But that's pretty much all that's on the back of the shirt. That's the, the shirt. That's it. It's just a white t-shirt with nothing else on it other than that on there. <laughs> so that was the other thing where I was kind of like, you're really only sort of paying so much for this. And I just didn't feel like it was worth the 4,700. The dress on the other hand, I was really thinking about the dress. They had a dress, which I think was around about 
five-ish. It was like five and a half, almost 6,000 or something like that. But that is it for the Chanel um, ready to wear that I got. I do have one more item that I do want to unbox. I'm hoping that this video is not going too long. I just like that what I like doing all the sort of like brands in one video. Like if I'm doing Chanel, I like to kind of stick to all Chanel in that one video. This is again something that I have found on um, Vestier Collective. So let's open it up. Like I said, I'll have everything linked down below, all the ASOS items, the online makeup academy course, and any items I can find on Vestia Collective, um, or even eBay as well, because um, I think that you can buy on eBay and still feel um, like uh, you're getting an authentic item as long as you take the extra steps to protect yourself, you know, pay with PayPal, um, get it authenticated. I recommend real authentication. I'll have the discount code on the screen. Um, like, yeah, there are ways that you can protect yourself. So don't feel too terrified with eBay. I do look at eBay as well, but I tend to buy from Japan eBay, like the sellers that are from Japan. That's usually what I prefer to sort of do. But um, Vestier Collective is pretty much like the biggest marketplace for pre-loved luxury. So that tends to be where I always find all the best deals. So it's just the way it is. All right, so I got myself another pair of dad sandals. Now these ones are, I'd say, you know, pre-loved-ish, but not really. Um, they were described as worn once only, and it does seem like the seller is telling the truth. It does seem like they've only been worn once. Uh, let me show you. So as you can see with the underside, it is actually like uh, the paint comes off. So just so you know, if you get the dad sandals, um, like in white or even the black, but the black is less noticeable because it's more of a gray underneath. I have white Chanel sandals already. And let me tell you, well, these are like an a, a off white. These are more like a white white. These, for me, I actually think, I mean, not everybody likes buying pre-loved shoes. I get that. Um, but for me, I'm okay with it. Um, and I like the fact that I could save hundreds and hundreds of dollars on the price. I picked this up for like, uh, I think I paid around about like $1,700 for it. So, I, I mean, it's still expensive, right? It's still expensive. But the seller had only wore it once anyway, so that's not too big of a deal. The same thing's going to happen when I wear it once. It would have looked exactly like that anyway. Um, yeah, I, if you do buy a pre-loved shoes and you want to clean them, I recommend this product. This is from Bags of More. It's a Lux Multi Cleaner, but it's an antibacterial cleaner. Um, I think I had a discount code for Bags of More. If it's, I'll put it down below anyway. I'm not sure if it's still working. It's not an affiliate code or anything like that, but this is just personally what I use. Um, I think there might be some options for like on Amazon for the US customers because she, I don't know if she ships international for her products, but if you're in Australia, then yeah, you would probably just jump on board and you'd probably just jump on and get this. But like, yeah, in the US, I'll try and link something that's an antibacterial leather cleaner that's on Amazon. But yeah, anyways, yeah, I spray this on. You can just spray it on, let it dry. You don't even have to wipe it or you can spray it on and wipe it if you actually want to give the shoes a really good clean. But yeah, I think that's it for the video. Um, dad sandals is my last reveal. I know that not everybody likes them, but I think that they're really cool and they're super comfy for my feet um, because I have a bunion from breaking my toe too much. So, um, but yes, like I said, everything is going to be linked down below. Don't forget the online makeup academy course if you are interested in doing any kind of makeup artistry career or if you just want to learn makeup itself and all the basics. All the details are going to be down in that description bar. Um, but that's it. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'm feeling a bit breathless and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. But if you are looking to become a prof that look at um, so if it's your uh, so if it's your some uh, shit me bloody hell. So if this uh,